Hello, this tutorial will discuss the settings of Subscribe2. Subscribe2 plugin is mainly used to send email notification for new blog posts. You need to set up your email settings before sending notification. So go to settings of the Subscribe2 plugin. Under email settings, you can choose to restrict the number of recipients per email. Then you can decide to include the theme CSS style sheet in HTML notification. You can decide to send emails for pages, password protected posts, and for private posts. Also, you can select from whom the mail will be sent and when to send the emails. If you want, you can add tracking parameters to the permalink. Subscribe to plugin provides you templates to send email notifications. You can edit the template as per your requirement. You will find three types of templates. The first one is notification email. This is the basic notification email template. When there is a new post, this email will be sent to your subscribers with the post link. The second type of template is the subscribe unsubscribe confirmation email. This is an email to confirm your user's subscription for a specific blog post. You can send a link in order for your subscriber to complete the subscription. The third type of template is the reminder email to unconfirmed subscribers. If any of your user's subscription remains incomplete, then this email will be sent with a link to complete the subscription. You can also insert these keywords in your template. The keywords have a definition to explain their uses. If you want to preview your template as a test, click on Send Email Preview. Let's move to the Registered Users tab. Under Registered Users tab, you can select the compulsory category so that content posts from these categories will be sent to all of your registered users. Content posts under the excluded category will not generate any notification through emails. However, you can allow registered users to subscribe to these excluded categories. Lastly, in the Auto Subscribers section, you get to decide on how you want to set up subscribers for new users. In the Appearance setting, you can set the default page for Subscribe to. You can also do the same thing for the unsubscribe page of the Subscribe2 plugin. You then need to configure whether or not you want to show a link to your subscription page in Meta, show the Subscribe2 button on the right toolbar, enable pop-up style subscription form, and enable Subscribe2 widget. When you enable these options, this is what the page will look like. The miscellaneous tab of Subscribe2 lets you bar domains. So in the empty box, you can bar links for plugin sites, plugin forms, and blog posts. And that is how you can set these settings for Subscribe2 plugin. For more information on email marketing on your WordPress site, be sure to visit getwemail.io or contact us for more information on using Wemail for your WordPress email marketing.